I wanted to do something new. I wanted to do something that scared me, something that would really challenge me, and something that I didn't think I was capable of. My name is Caleb Pindley, and I'm attempting to do a half Ironman. So last year, I got really sick. I had a pretty bad work-life balance, and I wasn't eating well, I wasn't sleeping well, and it led to me burning out pretty badly. It wasn't just a regular sickness uh, that I had last year, like a cold. Um, it was quite a debilitating condition um, known as fibromyalgia, uh, chronic fatigue, where, you know, Every moment of the day, I was just constantly dizzy, um, terrible brain fog. I just wasn't functioning very well. I didn't feel like I was thriving, I just felt like I was surviving. And I wanted to be able to do something that would challenge me in ways that I've never been challenged. Overcome this, get myself back to a normal life, but also you know, to feel like I'm gonna be a human doing, not a human being. Amongst being sick, I was just surfing the web on the couch and entered the, you know, the rabbit hole that is YouTube and came across a video of a guy that was trying triathlons. Um, but the really awesome thing that stood out to me in that story was that this guy also um, had been sick with the exact same condition. And to see someone that had been through something I was going through and for them to challenge themselves in that way, was really inspiring and has set me down this path uh, where I have been able to, in some ways, uh, fall in love with the journey, um, at times not enjoying it, but being able to look back and see like, yeah, I'm getting better every day, I'm pushing myself. Everything is on you. You have to keep yourself accountable. Um, you know, you have no other teammates to depend on or to blame if something goes wrong. Uh, it's just you out there, you know, versing yourself, I guess. I find that these different endurance events are great opportunities to just practice mindfulness and just to find that place in your mind where you detach from, like, the suffering that you're going through. From a really young age, I've always been really hard on myself. I've always pushed myself to my limits. And when I'm having those really tough training sessions, I always have this saying come into my head, which says that there are no shortcuts to greatness. And as much of a cliche saying as it is, and as much as it may seem cheesy, there is a lot of truth to that. You know, I could choose to stop my run early and go home, but if I did that, I'd be taking a shortcut. And how can I expect to be great if I'm not pushing those limits every single day? How I'm feeling after the swim? Um, really good, actually, really fresh. Uh, two weeks out, feeling strong, um, starting to taper and I'm starting to feel ready, which is really good. to the finish line. Is this your first time, Caleb? Yep. Oh,
experience those last four and a half kilometers is the hardest push I've ever done in my whole entire life. Oh, my God.